How do I turn this thing on? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again with another video. Okay, my glasses are a bit smudged, but I'm too lazy to wipe them. We're gonna be doing how to sound like Lil Mosey in the song Stuck in a Dream. Fairly new song, it has a nice chorus, and we're gonna go over it. So anyway, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe and already subscribe, notification bell as well. So you never miss a video that I post. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. We have a lot of items down there, like preset packs, all my equipment, my social media, all my music, and a distro kid link to get 5% off your sign up to put all your music everywhere so everyone can hear it. Anyway, Lil Mosey's stuck in a dream. Let's do it. We have a record right here, but I'm gonna delete it because I always do. I'm gonna redo it for you. This song is a little bit difficult, uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway, so <clears throat> let me take a sip of the water. Let's try it again. Yo. <clears throat> Still bumping since 2019. Pour up the link of me stuck in a dream. Started hit list back in 2014. I got the ice in me dripping saline. Claws came in off a hunt. Me and my every still driven for fun. Been knew I was the one. Still got every sort of run, yeah. All right, so if you enjoyed that, let me show you how I got it. Let me go ahead and take you through how to get the lead track. So this audio track I'm talking on is completely naked and dry. Let me bring it below the lead. And as you can see, we're going to name it Dry. All right, and one by one, we're going to pull over each plugin. We're going to start off with what I hate to explain every time, but pitch correction. I don't even know if this is the right key to the song. I'm not even going to lie. I couldn't even find it. But pitch, pitch correction, mono. Oh, uh, you need pitch correction. Uh, know that you need a response time at like around 10 to 20, uh, not all the way to zero, but it kind of depends on what you feel comfortable with. Like if your vocals don't sound good to you and you want to make it zero response time for full auto tune, feel free to do that. It's no problem. But I have D sharp natural minor for this song uh, with 12.5 response time. If you want to do a guess and check approach to find find uh, what key you want. You want to switch between major scale and then look through everything. If nothing sounds good, you want to go to natural minor scale and then look through everything again and click each one. <gasps> oh my God. Next we have a noise gate just to block out the noise, the extra noise. I no longer have an air conditioner like my old setup. So now that I'm using this, you can tell like it's kind of nice. Everything's very quiet until I talk. So nothing is impeding it. So what you want to do for that? Is go to dynamics, noise gate, mono. This is kind of giving me a headache. When you're in the noise gate, you want to click the top bar and go down to factory or whatever it says, whatever preset bar you have. And inside, there's only going to be a few things. You want to do tighten up. And all you want to do is change the threshold to negative 35. Reason it's negative 35, because if it's a 50, it doesn't have the same effect. It's kind of weaker. And if you have, if you have it at like 20, it's way too strong. And if I even talk with like a very soft voice, it will stop picking up that sound. So what you want to do is make it 35 because you could talk with this and you can still kind of do it. Anyway, now we want to clean the vocal with the channel EQ. All right, people, look at this. The channel EQ was found in EQ, channel EQ mono. And within, uh, we have a, something that looks like this with a gain of two, so let's turn it to zero. Uh, right now, before I start talking, if you don't like me or my voice, just copy these settings down below. All you got to do is double click and change the value within each color. It'll create this exact slope. But if you want to hear me, it's what we did. We took the red dot, brought it over to 100, and dropped it 0 0.64, or just around this area. And because we brought it to 100 and not all the way to like 150 or 200, we brought a shelf out with the orange to 200 and drop the negative 2.5 at 200 just so it leaves some open space here for some little more low frequencies uh and then we got a yellow right here we're not going to touch then we got this lime green one we bring it to 500 hertz and we drop it negative 2 db then we move to the purple we bring it above 5k it's at 4950 i'll make it 5k 5k hertz on the purple raise it 3 db and then this pink one 15,000. drop it to 0 0.5 or just cut off right here and then you want to raise it because you took away some stuff plus two all right all right now as you notice we're not using a regular compressor uh, um, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's not. We want to experiment with different combinations here. So we're going straight to the pedal board. Bring that over. <gasps> it missed. Bring that over. Amps, pedals, pedal board, mono. When you're inside of it, you want to go to a basic squash. Click the top of the bar and bring another compressor. Go to compressor, hit basic squash. Let's set the attack to fast. Move the sustain to negative 16.5 dB and the level at 3. 16.5, negative 16.5, 3. Oh, you want to know what this does? This kind of just does this kind of thing. thing. Whatever. 3. Did I say 3? Last Lastly in the chain, before the bus, we want to bring over a multipressor. Now let me reduce the sound. Multipressor, when you're inside of the multipressor, what you want to do is first space out one, two, three, and four. To do that, you got to click the vertical line within each one and move it. And as you move it, in the top boxes right here, they'll start to change. So if you click this one and move it 160, you can stretch it to 160 like that. And then drop it 0 0.5, that's it. The two, it's at 2500. 
you can also just enter the value and it'll change. And then it's negative four. So basically what this is, is between 160 and 2,500, we're moving. In between 2K and 7,500, we're raising four dB. Okay, so negative four plus four. And then finally the four, we raise it plus two. When I talk normally like this, it's kind of bumping to red. Now it all depends on how you record it. We're gonna drop it negative two to give it that, uh, to make sure it's not peaking. Now, finally we have the bus. Uh, reverb is a big part of this vocal. When I was doing it to try to make it sound right for a very long time, I figured out that changing the reverb up is, is really important. So when the bus one that gets created as soon as you do that, like you click the open cell, you go to bus one. Then it creates the bus. Within it, we have a space designer, reverb, space designer, stereo. I'm gonna click the top, go to large space, halls, six point second marble church. Is there a reason I picked all that? It sounded cool in my head, so I did it. So once you get the marble church, you need a dry of negative four, a wet of negative 16.5. And then the bus knob's at negative two. So that's what it sounds like. Hello. Okay, now let me explain real quick what dry and wet even means. Dry is like your main voice. If I were to completely take away the dry, uh, uh, what the wet is, is just the effect being amplified. So if I had all wet and no dry, you wouldn't be able to hear me. All right, and then your vocal's done. We're finished. I actually lied, we're not actually done. Uh, what we gotta do is uh, make the backup. So what we gotta do is hit Command D, duplicate. See, we duplicated it. You see that? Now what you wanna do is, see how we're in the duplicated track right now? Click right below multi-presser, the open cell. Delay, sample delay, mono stereo. Delay at 800, this is a very cheap trick. Uh, and then bring it down, like, really well. And then if you wanna create an ad lib, to, for some background noises, what I would simply do uh, to make it simple is go over to your space designer in the bus, hold option, and you can drag, and you can just duplicate it, it'll drag a new one over if you, as long as you're holding option. It's just a very wide vocal. All right, and that's how you get that vocal. Now we're gonna freestyle with it and just have a good time and just have a good time. Here we go. Stuck in a dream, stuck in a dream, stuck in a dream, stuck in a dream. Thank you for watching me. I just climbed down a tree. Inside my toilet is pee My diamonds they shine like pee I don't have any diamonds on me Well that's about it for me, hope you guys enjoyed that video This was learn something as well And if you didn't Anyway, like I said before, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe notification bell as well. Also, my description down below is chock full of sweet things. All right, so don't miss out on that. Make sure to drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think and what I should do next. Anyway, this has been a crowd How does it sound like Lil Mosey in the song "Stuck in a Dream" in Logic Pro 10 using only stock plugins? And like always, we out.